Welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. The theme, Thanksgiving, and we've got a great design for you. Notice that what we have here is a rather interesting little scene. We've got some styrofoam. It's covered with some of our sheet moss. On this, we've got uh, a bale of hay. We've got a little turkey friend here, appropriate for the holiday. And we also have a couple of uh, containers that we call a unit design. What is a unit design? It is a three-dimensional equivalent, floral equivalent, of a photograph. And in working our unit design, our three-dimensional equivalent of a photograph, we're going to play with some interesting materials. The first thing I'm going to be using is equisetum. Equisetum. We consider equisetum to be like a foliage, but it is very, very linear, very, very structural, and we can do some very, very neat things with it. And you notice that I'm taking some of our equisetum and working it into our design, just taking a little bundle and working it first on one side and then working it a little on the other. We've added some height to our unit, and certainly this is going to be an interesting thing a bit around which we're going to be playing. We're going to be mixing our materials together. The equisetum is to create height, but this is one of my favorite flowers. Bird of Paradise, or Strelitzia. Isn't it a beauty? It's gorgeous. It's really nice. Although we consider a bird of paradise to be an exotic, certainly bird of paradise is something that can be used because of the orange color to enhance fall themes. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing with it. So we're going to play with a little bit of our bird of paradise. And I'm going to place one up a little bit higher. I'm going to take a second one of my bird of paradise. I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter and then place it over here, giving us a little bit of counterpoint to it. And because I played with some of our Bird of Paradise on one side of the design, let's also play with our Bird of Paradise on the other side as well. Let's take another piece, place it up here, and work this into our design over on this side. And my goodness, we've come up so high it's, it's almost cut off in terms of, there you see it now a little bit better. And then let's take another one and work it down a little bit lower into our design over on this side. So notice with four Bird of Paradise, we're really making quite a show in our design. But let's mix our Bird of Paradise with some other things. And one of the other materials that I'd like to play with today is another one of my all-time favorites. This is a mini sunflower, mini sunflower. I love using mini sunflowers. They're bold, they're pretty, they certainly make quite a show. And when we start playing with some of our mini sunflowers in our designs, you notice that just it's radiant, it stands out, it pokes out right at us. And it doesn't take many of these things to make a good show, which is one reason why we love working with them. Because notice that with just several of our mini sunflowers on this side, how that makes a presence. Now let's play with some of the mini sunflowers over on the other side of our design as well. And I'm going to take another mini sunflower and let's play something over comparable on this side here. So we'll take one, and this one we're going to let just kind of face up towards the ceiling a bit. And let's work another one of our mini sunflowers over here, and I'm going to work this one in a little bit lower, a little bit lower, facing towards us. So notice that our little friend is sitting here, contemplating his possible fate, hoping that you will eat uh, perhaps uh, uh, maybe pork or beef uh, rather than turkey. And he's surrounded by some very, very pretty flowers. Let's see what else we have. Oh, well, uh, how about some of our roses? But because it happens to be the fall and it's Thanksgiving, let's play with some orange roses to enhance our design. And so I'm going to take an orange rose and work an orange rose over onto this side. And let's work this guy in right here in between our mini sunflower and our bird of paradise. So we've got something going on over there. And I'm going to take another one of my orange roses and place it over onto this side. So notice what I'm doing here is I'm playing with both sides simultaneously, working things in so that what's going on on one side is also happening over on the other side as well, so we can come up with some very interesting effects indeed. Now let's see, what else do we have? These are interesting. I'm going to come back to my orange roses in a minute. These are hypericum berries, hypericum berries. 
They're gorgeous, they're showy, and they're really appropriate for the time of the year. Hypericum comes in green. It also comes in some orange colors and some other things as well. So let's work a little bit of our Hypericum into this design. And I'm going to, again, play with it on both sides of our design. What I do on one side, I'm also going to do on the other side as well. So let's take some of our Hypericum and work a little tucked in right over on this side behind our mini sunflower right here. So we've got something going on over there as well. And now let's see, what else do we have? Oh, well these are kind of cool. These are some of our Red Rover mums. Some of our Red Rover mums. Let's play with a few of our Red Rover mums. And I'm going to take one and place it over onto this side of the design. Let's get this in right over here. And let's also work another Red Rover mum over on this side. I'm going to work this one in a little bit closer towards my base. So you can see how we're gradually filling in on both sides of the design. Let's take another Red Rover. If I've got several working over on this side, we're going to play with a couple more over on this side as well. So let's work one up a little higher over here and then perhaps get one down a little bit lower over on this side as well. So notice that we are playing each time I'm playing with some of our flowers here, we've got, notice, two of our birds here, two of our birds here. Several of our mini uh, sunflowers here, several over here, a couple of our red rovers, a couple over here, a hypericum, a hypericum. I'm doing a similar kind of construction on both sides, but I am changing it enough so it doesn't feel exactly identical. And that's the whole idea. I don't want it to feel perfectly identical. I want to make it feel different enough so that there's some visual interest in this. But at the same time, we're having a unity between the two sections. So I'm going to start at working now some things down towards the bottom of my display. And I'm going to take a few more of our roses. And of course, roses are a good one to do this with because they're popular, they're showy, they're pretty. And I'm going to work a few of my roses coming around towards the front of the design. Notice I've got one over here and here. I'm going to place one more rose over on this side so that we're really playing with our materials. This is giving us a very, very rich kind of effect to our design. And let's see, what else do we have? Well, let's take a few more of our roses. And just as we played with a few of them down over here, let's add some here and coming around over on this side. So that again, we're playing the unity aspect of it where we're really making use of our materials. The fall is a great time of the year because we can play with some really pretty colors. Things like oranges and yellows and red oranges and things work so well. And floral designers can play with so many wonderful materials. And notice that the combination that we're working here in terms of a combination of our strelitzia and our mini sunflowers and our roses and our rover chrysanthemums really gives us a very, very rich effect indeed. I'm going to take a few more of my roses and I'm placing them in, coming down around towards the front and the sides on the bottom of the second container. So notice by the time we are finishing this thing up, they don't feel really like they're separate things, but rather they're integrating very, very nicely to create a complete display. Designs like this can be used in so many different ways. Uh, this would work very well in an entry area coming into a home, in a bay window, possibly on a nice, large, and impressive mantle. And it really gives a, a kind of friendly and whimsical effect towards the hall. Let's play with some of our hypericum berries over here so that we have unity between what's going on up there and a little lower over on this side as well. So I'm going to take a little bit more of my hypericum and work it down. Now, when we talk about covering mechanics, what we mean is we want to make sure that you don't really see any of the foam or the materials that we're using to place our flowers into. So we want it to kind of tie in very nicely into our design. And to do that, I'm taking a little bit of my moss and I'm placing my moss in here. So you can see this thing is coming together very, very nicely for us. And I'm taking another little piece and working it over here. Easy, huh? Fun? At Rittner's Floral School, we enjoy playing with all kinds of beautiful flowers. And we enjoy all kinds of different styles of floral art. In this particular demonstration, you've seen an interesting demonstration of what we call a unit design. The floral equivalent of a photograph. Something whimsical, something kind of fun. Definitely getting in the theme of Thanksgiving. 
We wish a happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. Again, for Rittner Floral School, this is Dr. Steve Rittner speaking. It's a pleasure having you come in and visit in our school today. Thank you.